Let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Design an analysis of RCC combined 14 of two columns as per IS456. Before start of the lecture, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Hello, I am P.S. Sergio with you. Today, I am going to explain you how we can make a performer in Excel spreadsheet for the analysis of a combined trapezoidal RCC footing of two columns with strip beam. In this series, I am going to give you combined trapezoidal RCC footing of two, three and four columns. Basic principle for all this design will be same, but we have to manipulate our, in our Excel sheets. After grabbing that manipulation, you can solve the problem of combined footing with any numbers of column. Minimum requirement, IS456-2000, SP161980, Excel software 2010 onward, any standard book. Important clauses regarding trapezoidal combined footing design. Minimum depth of bottom slab at end not less than 150 mm. Minimum bar diameter not less than 10 mm for the bottom slab, but preferable minimum diameter of the bar not less than 12 mm. Minimum characteristic strength of concrete FCK not less than the grade of M20. Preferable depth ratio of bottom slab DE is to DF is equal to 1 is to 2. For footing, deflection check not required. Dimensions, symbols and units. LX and LZ are the dimension of the footing in meter. B and D are the dimension of the strip beam in millimeter. DF, depth of bottom slab at beam face in millimeter. D, depth of bottom slab at end. DE must be greater than or equal to 150 mm. Shio is to cover, not less than 50 mm for beam and bottom plate. Phi is the dia of the bar in millimeter. RU, ultimate reaction in kilonewton meter in strip beam. RU, ultimate reaction kilonewton per meter square in bottom plate. VU is equal to ultimate shear, shear force in kilonewton. MU, ultimate bending moment kilonewton meter. DE, effective depth in millimeter. Tau C, allowable shear stress in newton per millimeter square. Tau V, calculated shear stress in newton per millimeter square. The design shear strength of concrete is given in table 19 of the code are based on the following equation. This is our table 19 value of tau C on the basis of percentage of steel provided and grade of concrete. For solid slab, the design shear strength of concrete tau C into K, where K has the value given below, IS 456 to 2000, page number 72. For beam, we should consider the value of K is equal to 1, that is minimum. The maximum shear stress tau C max in Newton per millimeter square. Tau C max for grade of concrete M. 15 is 2.5, M20 2.8, M25 3.1, M33.5, M35 3.7, M44. In case of beam design, if we find tau C calculated greater than tau C max, then we have to change the dimension of the beam or in other words, we have to alter the design. Section of combined footing at support. Now I am switching over to the Excel spreadsheet for the numerical calculation.
Welcome to my Excel spreadsheet for design and calculation of a combined footing. First, footing group load. This is working load for footing from stand. Now, this is the algebraic sum of this load plus this load. This plus this. This plus this, this plus this. Similarly, this load is equal to this plus this, this plus this, this plus this. Now, our combination load is like that. Copy. Test spatial value. This is length of the footing, this is width of the footing. If we change it to 2 meter, area required 16.62 meter square, but we have provided 16 meter square. So we are getting some warning. FCK is equal to 20 Newton per millimeter square. FY is equal to 450 Newton per millimeter square. Cover is equal to 50. Net safe bearing capacity of soil is equal to 90. Minimum steel 0.2%. Increment in N NSPC due to seismic load case is 25%. So ratio is 1.25. Load reduction for opening for doors and windows is 10 to 20 percent. I have considered 20 percent, so ratio is 1.2. Now, one thing elected load case, the elected load case 105, 105. Say we are reducing this load. Look, it is load case 1 is the elected load. 2.1. So, area provided is greater than area required. OK. Best spatial value the distance between c1 and c2 is in x direction 4.77 meter and in z direction 0 net reaction is equal to load 1 that is pc1 mx1, this is mx1, this is mx, mz1, pc2, mx2, and mz2. So net reaction, pc1 plus 6 absolute mx by lz plus 6 into absolute mz by lx. This is our left hand side projection. Left hand side projection is equal to Lx by 2. Lx is equal to 8 meter minus Cg distance. That is 2.316 Cg distance from column C1. This is our right hand side projection. The right hand side projection is equal to Lx length of the beam minus column to column distance minus this projection 1.546 meter. Initial moment left hand side of the column C1 UDL into 
projection square left hand side projection square divided by 2 and the moment here is equal to udl of beam into column to column distance square divided by 12 similarly for this one udl into distance between distance between column to column square divided by 12 and this is udl into projection right hand side square divided by 2 now i have written here if e45 that is this one is greater than this one then maximum of this two minus minimum of this two otherwise put zero same formula i have applied here this cell or this cell and this cell after balancing the support moment we have 458 kilonewton per meter left hand side and this is 458 kilonewton per meter right hand side this is also 458 and 458 span moment wl square by 8 minus wl square by 12 shear force left of this column c1 udl of the beam and left hand side projection and this one is equal to this minus this here shear force right hand side of the column c2 is equal to udl of beam into left hand side projection plus column to column distance minus this column force this is this is equal to this shear force minus this load and this shear force is equal to udl of beam into projection right hand side projection our size of the beam is 500 width and 650 depth we have considered five number of bar of diameter 20 and four number of bar diameter 20 total nine numbers of bar and for stirrups we have considered diameter of the bar 8 spacing 100 and legs 4 effective depth is equal to depth of the beam this one minus clear cover minus maximum of these two divided by 2 xu by d is equal to this formula mu we have maximum absolute of m1 and m2 into 10 to the power 6 divided by width of the beam in square of the effective d now say we are reducing this damage percentage of steel provided less than percentage of steel required so design is not okay we have to provide 20 once again if we put here 32 this value that is percentage of steel provided is greater than PT limit PT limit 1.336 here it is 1.8 so, so this value is more than PT limit so we have to change this value to 20 Similarly, for mid span, our moment is 229. It is hogging moment. 
this and this are the sagging moment and this is for mid span and this is for right hand support the calculation methods are same now design a bottom plate de 150 df 350 clear cover 50 dia of bar 12 spacing of bar 150 minimum percentage of steel considered 0 0.12 def is equal to similar def is equal to this df minus clear curve minus this bar dia by 2 this load is nothing but total column load that is this load plus this load divided by length of the beam is this load this beam is 500 and we are going to check the shear and movement at beam face weight of the footing slab minus 500 divided by 2 minus b of the beam that is 500 divided by 2 Udl on the slab is equal to maximum among these loads into partial factor of safety mu at beam face is equal to Udl into maximum of these two square divided by 2 that is 0.5 xu by d this formula mu by bd square is equal to this value into 10 to the power 6 into 100 that is width of the slab into a square of the effective depth percentage of steel required this one percentage of steel provided this is area of steel provided percentage of steel required is equal to percentage of steel required is equal to this formula percentage of steel provided this value is less than this value so okay now vu vu is equal to this udl into maximum of l1 this one or this one maximum of this maximum value among these two tau v is equal to this vu into 1000 that is newton divided by 100 width into effective depth round up up to 3 digit 3, uh, df is equal to 350 so k will be 1 beta is equal to this formula tau c is equal to this formula and this is k this value is greater than tau v okay this is our design summary. This is strip beam schedule and this is design summary of bottom slab. This is a bending moment diagram. And this is our shear force diagram. And that's all about my design analysis of combined footing with two columns and strip beam. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also evaluate my performance with your valuable comments. Thank you.